we just got a bunch of new snippets for one of the most highly anticipated Vultures 2 songs that I think, if executed correctly, could easily destroy Carnival's insane success. So this song is of course Venom slash Field Trip, and we've known about it for a few weeks now. But our previous knowledge was capped at two snippets, with neither of them showing what Kanye's vocals sounded like on the song. Easy, out of here. we already knew that the track featured Playboy Cardi, Don Tolliver, and Lil Durk with production from Wheezy, and we also found out from insiders that the song had been completely finished by Kanye. Prior to today, we only had a short snippet of Cardi's verse and nothing for Kanye's vocals, but thankfully now we can craft a much clearer picture of what Venom is going to sound like with these new sneak peeks. The first new snippet is a recording of Kanye's vocals on the song from mid to late December 2023, with it being mostly mumble, but not egregious mumble. Plus, we heard from insiders that Kanye did go back and finish up his verse, so I would assume most of these vocals are gonna stay, with some more precise wording being inserted, courtesy of Kanye's writing team. <laughs> It's also very much worth mentioning that the song could sound completely different by the time we hear it next. Considering these mumble Kanye vocals are from December of last year, I would almost guarantee that Field Trip's production has been completely overhauled and changed. This could also mean someone like Lil Durk was booted off the song and replaced or just removed entirely due to the feature artists being a bit crowded with both Cardi and Don Tolliver. Along with the new Kanye vocal snippet, we also got a new look at more of Playboy Cardi's feature verse on the song, which sounds phenomenal. I don't think anybody was questioning if Cardi's full verse was a banger, but seriously, at this point, I think we've heard enough to say that his feature on Field Trip could easily be better than his feature on Carnival. I also think that if Kanye evolves the production in a smart way like he did with Carnival, that Field Trip could be almost guaranteed to be a crazy hit. Go, 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 hey, so good, she honorable. She already did like a Carnival. I done did the impossible. Go, go, go. Already, the feature verses and vocals we've heard are as catchy, if not more, than Carnival's. So from here on out, Kanye just needs to make the right creative decisions, and he could very well score himself a slam dunk number one Billboard Top 100 song. Today, we also found out that Kanye is planning to host another listening party between Phoenix and Rolling Loud, this time at the Chase Center in San Francisco, with the event still being listed as a Vultures 1 listening experience like the Phoenix, Paris, and Italy shows. At this point now, I think it's becoming clear that Kanye wants to milk the shit out of Vultures 1 until it's literally completely dry, and then he'll drop Vultures 2. That is, of course, if we don't get any new material at either Phoenix, San Francisco, or Rolling Loud. It would be incredibly easy to just do a few new songs at each of these shows after the main Vultures 1 performance, but there's just no way to tell right now. It's definitely obvious that he's not planning on releasing the album on March 8th, so the big question is, how long will the release be delayed for? In my opinion, the best course of action would be to debut new songs and then go super hard performing Vultures 2 at Rolling Loud so that the album 
problem can drop on Friday, March 15th with maximum height. But I would also not be surprised if we end up waiting all the way until April for him to finish this up. Especially now that he has a guaranteed cash cow in Vultures 1, what incentive does Kanye have to drop Vultures 2 when 1 is still riding its own popularity? I desperately hope I'm wrong and we do get the album before April, but with Kanye, you never know what he's got up his sleeve. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And let me know down in the comments if you think Field Trip slash Venom will end up beating out Carnival in terms of success and popularity.